Yeah, there's a no comment on that. Again, I'll read the uh, first question then the committee. Uh, again, it was kind of an obvious question uh, among all of us was why was Guilford County picked as a location to run the pipeline through? Why not further east? Why not further west? Well, these that one good. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. You know, <laughs> I went through that um, earlier and we were kind of ahead of ourselves. But, you know, when, when we first uh, started working on this project, we were asked to bring gas from a certain place and deliver it to a certain place. So obviously we had to go that direction. And, you know, I think we take into consideration our existing utility corridors. Uh, for one, Burke kind of, you know, likes us to use that to keep from creating new corridors and such and, and uh, trying to create less environmental impact. We also look at it from a constructability standpoint. Uh, we look at surrounding communities, try to lessen the impacts of them as much as possible. Uh, you know, we try to eliminate um, the proximity of existing structures and infrastructure down to a minimum. Uh, and I also mentioned, uh, you know, earlier that we're continuing to survey and evaluate alternative routes. This is not set in stone. So, um, you know, I had a lot more to say that, but <laughs> I said it earlier. So that's, that's basically the factors we look at when evaluating these routes. Question number two from the committee. Uh, the biggest concern is what is going to save us for the citizens of Gilchrist County. Why the persistence to follow current utility easements instead of rerouting through an area such as the Waukesasa Flats or Peggy Trail, uh, these being areas that won't be developed and are away from people, from the residences? <coughs> Brian uh, Carnival again. Uh, the, the, the quick and simple answer, uh, FERC prefers, that's the Federal Energy Regulatory, prefers we follow the existing the utility corridors as much as we can. In fact, the, uh, the route itself, the 465, is uh, uh, nearly 80% co-located on, on existing, near existing utilities. Uh, we look for typically less impacts, uh, less clearing activities, uh, area that has been previously impacted or disturbed, which would be, a, i.e., another uh, utility company uh, or a, a, trend, a pipeline transmission. Uh, our, our primary route does impact a portion of Wakasasa Flat. It does, but it doesn't go all the way through it. And uh, there was a reference to Peggy Trail. We, uh, we, we need a little more information on, on Peggy Trail. I think we, we kind of understand it's a rail or a rail trail or existing railroad line. There was not a lot of information that we were looking at on it. But, and then as far as safety, when we get to question number 12, we'll address that in much more greater detail. But uh, that's kind of the, uh, the general 50,000 foot question on 